Oh my goodness. Oh boy. That is not a, is that a joke? So thanks for tuning in. We have the Ben Hogan PTX Pro Irons full review today. <sighs> Just took the plastic off these bad boys. Uh, they are lovely. Take a look. All right, so please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I appreciate the support. Love all of you, all right? And today is an exciting day because we have Ben Hogan PTX Pro Irons. So what Ben Hogan company has done with these uh, new irons is they are a forged iron. They use a new technology, what's called a three-piece co-forging process. So what they've got with the long and the mid irons, they have tungsten weighting that they've placed specifically behind the face, okay? So they have a forged body, those forged tungsten weighting, and then they press on the forged face at the top. So your long irons are going to go higher and straighter and uh, you're gonna have a much better uh, feel with the long irons. That's how they've done that forging process with the long irons. Now, with your short irons, what they've done in wedges, what they've done is still a forged three-piece co-forging process, but they have a titanium core behind the face, and then they have the forged face pressed on ahead of that. So, with your short irons and wedges, you don't get that ballooning effect, you can have a much lower piercing ball flight. Great feel uh, with the irons. We're gonna put it to the test and see if that's accurate. Also what uh, Ben Hogan has done, and they're not the only company to do something like this. Others uh, also do it. It's a V-sole design. So what that is, and I love it, it's in all the irons, you've got the sole. Okay, so here's your sole of the club right down here. What they've done is there's a grind that comes off the, the sole close to the leading edge. So it, give, it gives you a little bit of, uh, let's say forgiveness from the leading edge interacting with the turf. It makes for better turf interaction. You can have a much better uh, ball contact with that type of sole design. So it is here in the PTX Pro Irons and I love it and you can see how they've tapered it down. I feel like there's more taper here than on some other clubs I've used. Also, what's uh, exciting about these irons, they are shipped factory direct to you. Cutting out the middle man, or the middle woman, the middle person, whatever, they're gone. So, right now on the website, these are selling for about $770, $770 for the four through pitching wedge is uh, I believe the price. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check these out. Uh, the equivalent club, okay? I have them from the competitor. I have the equivalent. They are $1,200. You're saving $500, roughly $500. I'm gonna put them to the test versus those guys. You know who they are, okay? And we're gonna see. I haven't even hit these yet. Looking forward to it, and uh, let's do it. Okay, here's what we got. We're gonna start off with the the pitching wedge. In case you were wondering, I got the KBS uh, Tour V 110 stiff shafts. Uh, in case you're curious what shafts I'm hitting. I got my Swing Caddy SC 200, gonna give us yardage numbers, things like that. Uh, launch angle, this thing's awesome. Uh, link in the description below for this, by the way. Nice little discount for you. Uh, click the link, check it out. This is awesome. Uh, so here we go. Just checking accuracy of swing caddy. We got 124, 
says 126, so pretty much right on the money. 45 degree launch angle with pitching wedge. It's feeling super, super solid so far. Feeling good, wow. Oh, let's step up to the next one. I'm gonna jump up to the seven iron because I've got the seven iron in the AP2, we're gonna compare to, and the TS, the T200. So we'll compare seven, seven, seven. We got them all, we'll see which one feels and uh, does the best. Let's go, start with Hogan. Oh my goodness. Kidding me? That felt pure. Oh, that was so pure. Oh my gosh. Okay. 174. That was pretty sick. Now we'll go with the AP2. Pure it went higher. Now we're going with the T200s. Pure, different sound. 179, so we're a little more distance out of there. Launch angle kind of is, is all the same. So, Ben Hogan 7 iron versus the T200 7 iron. A little more distance with this, uh, more height here, but man, I prefer the sound of the PTX Pro Ben Hogan. It's got a more solid sound. This has a louder like click, it's good. Don't get me wrong, I love the sound. But this just has a more, let's say, uh, uh, I, I could feel it more in my, in my, my hands, that, that sound, you know, if that makes sense. You could feel it reverberating throughout your bones. Let's jump to the four irons and see the difference, let's say, when, the, when we go longer irons and we get to that uh, tungsten weighting in these. Yeah, now we got the four irons in all of them. Uh, again, V, V sole, slight V sole, pretty good, and mm, no, no real V sole in the AP2s, T200 solid. Um, again, max impact technology. This has tungsten weighting down here to give you a higher straighter ball flight. Very similar to what Titleist has got going on, but we're gonna put it to the test here. Hogan's up first. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. That is not, a, is that a joke? 232, that's wrong. That's not wrong though. I'd lasered it. That says that. This, everything is for real. I'm a little speechless at the one. Let me see if it's a fluke. Oh my goodness. What? 226, that's not right. It is right though, I'm watching it. Okay, now we'll jump over to the AP, the AP2 four iron. Let's see what this does. Okay, pure that. That was nice. That's as good as I can hit this one. I, I can't, I don't think I can hit the AP twos any better. 224, and that was as, only as good as my decent Hogan. Now, the reason I, I got the T200s was because of the long irons. The difference between these and let's say the T100s, these have the max impact technology, the T100s don't. So I wanted more uh, forgiveness, longer ball flight, higher straighter, all that good stuff. I got that with the Hogan's. This is the reason I got these, but we'll, let's see. The thing I wasn't, wasn't my favorite about this, when you set up, okay, to, to the Titleist, okay, 
you can see that back edge of the club a little bit. You can see that back here on the ground when you set up. So I didn't like that, I never did. Now when you come here, you do the same thing, it's kinda, it's, it's not as pronounced on the Hogan. It doesn't stick out as far. Here they are side by side. You can see that back edge of the Tylus comes out a little bit farther. For some reason in my mind. I mean, some people really like that, so it's just personal preference. Back to the T200. That was uh, maybe an eight out of 10, 213, okay, <laughs> great. Okay, that's probably as good as I can hit this. 234, okay, so very similar distance. I felt like that went a little lower. Pretty good there, pretty solid, 220, all right. Pretty consistent around there. Let's get back to the, the Hogan. I'm just looking at the top edge now. So one thing I really like is the color of the face and the top edge is more like a matted gray versus a shinier chrome. So I like that it's not so reflective of the sun and I can really distinguish it pretty good um, versus the rest of the club where the, nothing against the Tylus, but it's all the same color. Oh my goodness. That was, that was pretty good, 229. I'm, I'm not, I can't complain with any of these. Man, that four feels so good, 233. Wow. So one of the key factors I look at when I'm looking at a set of irons is how do they one, integrate into my set of wedges, whatever set you're playing. I don't want a super hot face of a pitching wedge and then go to the wedge set I have or even from a nine iron into the wedge set and then there'd be a huge difference. And uh, so I've got the Hogan pitching wedge. I just wanna see how, how uh, hot it is off the face, let's say from little shots, even you know out of the rough going into this, this little hole can I do that? Not, I wouldn't even, I would never play it right to this little hole, but if it's jumping too far uh, or, you know, too hot off the face, I wouldn't like that. Actually, that's pretty good. Then I'll run off to the middle hole and, you know, just do the same thing. This would be more of something I might use a pitching wedge for, you know, even out of this rough, depending on my lie, but just let it hit and run up there. And I want a good feel. Go to the far hole now. See, see how that feels. And it's not, like I wouldn't say it's extra hot. It's not just going where I don't uh, intend it. And sometimes with a hotter face, uh, club it's fine for full shots because you're swinging full speed but the little guys like this one will go one distance and then the next one will say see you later and it's just hard to hard to be consistent with something like that that hasn't happened how is it off a tight lie though because uh i'm curious with this v sole that it has uh it's really Let's play around a little bit more with it. Let's see a much tighter lie here. And I've just got a pitching wedge, same thing. That's nice. I don't want the leading edge to be grabbing on me. That's pure. So do these go in my bag? That four iron was, that four iron was a game changer because I did not think it would perform like the Titleist t 200 did not, gave it no chance. And I said, ah, that might hold me back. But after hitting it, I'm like, uh, that's actually workable. Low, high, left, right, went far, far. Uh, these go great distance, nice ball flight. Sound is fantastic. <sighs> um, $770 
or over $1,000, like $1,200 for my set of T200s. These puppies are going in the bag, I gotta say. I mean, I don't know. Like, why wouldn't I put them in the bag? They're phenomenal clubs. I'm gonna go on a course a little bit. You gotta go on the course, test it out. You wanna come? You wanna come and be a long video? Give you a few shots. Let's go. Four iron. That sounded good. I got to know one. I'm so in love with just what it did. Oh boy. I just got to, you know, on course, side by side. I have to, this is the T200. The ones I've been playing with. I like the other, I like the Hogan's. <laughs> okay, so I hit fairway with all three, in case you're wondering. This first one was the um, Ben Hogan. That was my third shot, that was the AP, not the AP, I keep saying that. That was the T200. And then that one over there, fairway, was the second Hogan. So the two Hogan's are the exact same distance. I mean, it's only a couple yards. Well, I got more yards with the Hogan than the T200. And I saved $500. Um, I'm gonna hit some mud balls in there and just do with what's ever on the ball because uh, if you have a nice penetrating ball flight, uh, it should, you know, that mud shouldn't affect it as much. So I'm just going up here to this hole. Hunter is at the edge of my limits with pitching wedge. Uphill, boom, there we go. Uh, Want to have a good feel here. Not bad. Uh, all right, here's the deal. If you're looking for a new set of clubs and uh, you want the highest performance at uh, an incredible cost, I would uh, seriously consider the Ben Hogan PTX Pro models. 770 bucks at the time of shooting this video. Uh, I, there is a link in the description below that takes you right to their page. You can check it out for yourself. Um, custom order direct right from the factory. No middle person. Forged club. Co-forging technology. Three piece. Pretty amazing uh, piece of uh, equipment here. Honest opinion. Uh, I, you know, haven't played you know, for, for the most part, Ben Hogan's been off the radar in terms of equipment for me for a while because I just didn't think they were up to up to par. Well, no longer. They have, here's par. They're like, they just got an eagle with this sucker. So check it out. For the price and perform, for the performance alone, they could charge $500 more in the charging. Ridiculous. So it's, if you want to save money and have an awesome club, up to you you might see these in my you're gonna see these in my bag a lot that's all i'm saying and i don't i don't put stuff in my bag unless i'm using it, it unless i think it's the, the top quality thank you anyways hope you like this video might have been an hour long i don't even know we'll see love you guys see you next time